Guys, we're not in Kansas anymore. We are currently in the Rocky Mountains for a very, very good reason. Because every year, I normally buy a stupid military vehicle that I don't need, and then I try to drive it across the country. I bought a 5-ton army truck. Oh, Really? I didn't notice. I bought a Humvee. I don't know how, but it's just blowing hot air in my face. I drove them across the country home. Today, we're gonna buy the oldest and the junkiest of them all. A 70-year-old military Jeep. It has 65 horsepower. It was built over 70 years ago and it's probably gonna break down at least 100 times over the 1200 mile road trip that we're gonna pull off. The problem is, is the guy that has it for sale is 10 miles that way and uh, we have to go meet him so we can see if we can buy it. And these flies won't leave me alone. How you doing? Is this the bad girl here? That's it. How good the fat people fit in it? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's not good. Like, you had any much problems with it or anything? It run pretty good? No. Think you'd make a 1,200-mile road trip? No. <laughs> <laughs> How long on the road trip do you think it would make it? Most of the time, it's on four-wheel drive trails. I have taken it down to Gunnison, but it'll beat you to death. That's <sighs> not what I want to hear. Hey, we got good news, boys. Yeah. The belly does rub the steering wheel, but it's not bad. This thing is much nicer than I expected. <laughs> That's the I problem, right? Is I expect it to be really junk. It's actually a really nice little Jeep. Can we start it? Of course. Oh, it's like, it runs like a sewing machine. It sounds good. <laughs> this thing is cherry. This thing is sweet. Why if we take it for a spin around the no, block? No, no, go for it. 1,500 miles on this. Oh yeah, 1,500 miles on this is gonna suck. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Are you prepared? All right, hold on. We'll just we'll take it for a little cruise down here, shall we? All right, let's try a gear change. Oh, there we go, second gear. I'm not sure how fast that is, but I think it might be running out of gas. That is breaking down for the first time. Yeah, I think it's out of gas. <laughs> You know, we haven't even bought it yet and I've already broken it. Well, we hope it's just out of gas. I'm not sure. Oh, she's back to running good. Well, I mean, she's back to running how she was before. Dude, I'll be honest. This thing is way nicer than I ever thought it could be. It runs pretty good. It shifts good. The clutch feels all right. I don't know if the full wheel drive works. The guy says it does. I mean, it actually runs pretty good. What's the fastest you've ever had it going? 40? Six. <laughs> <laughs> is it like just six or 46? No, just six. Oh, okay. Well, you got a clean title to it? Yeah. You uh, pretty firm on your price? Um, I, I'm willing to work with you. What would you take for it if I bust you out cash for it right now? I'll take five grand. All right, I'll do that. You know what? I'll do that. Well, let's shake on it. Let me get you some money. Let me get you a title. <laughs> I already got the keys, so we're good. I'll be honest, I could have probably got that thing cheaper, but this guy's such a nice guy, I can't feel, I'd feel bad if I got it for any cheaper because that's cheap for them. It's slow. I'm not even sure it'll do 30. It's slow as fuck. So we'll do 30, that's 10 hours is 300 miles. Oh fuck. I already shook his hand. <laughs> Real question, like what kind of chances you give it that it'll make it? 1200 miles. I'm not gonna be mad if it don't, by the way. It's an adventure. I'm just out well, here to have fun. When you first hopped out of the truck and you said that you wanted to do that, I thought, no, I give you zero chance. <laughs> but now after talking to you guys, this is an adventure and uh, you'll take as long as it takes. It might take us 10 business days, but we'll make it eventually. It was a pleasure doing business with Same you. Same here, you guys. Yeah, this is mile there zero, 1200 in a Jeep. And how are we feeling? Fantastic. God, it sounds so good. I hope it stays sounding that good all the way back to Kansas. It's 1,153 miles to home, and we got a couple awesome places we want to stop along the way. So I guess we better get going. Whee! I'll be honest, this is kind of awesome. It is, look at that. We could have way worse things to look at. Hold on, let me, let me go ahead and check something real quick. Wow. A whopping 32 miles an hour. That's full throttle too. I don't think there's any speed limits lower than 30 throughout the whole state of Colorado. So we can never be pulled over for speeding. Gotta look for, look for the advantages wherever they may come. Oh yeah, no turn signal. Uh, we'll just do this. Oh, that was four miles and I'm already over it. 
<laughs> this is not the Willys I saw at Poverty Gulch the other day. I saw one just like it. So, question, like how likely do you think this thing would be to make it a 1,200 mile road trip across the country? Put it on a trailer. Yeah, but I didn't bring a trailer. What does it do, like 50 miles an hour on the, I mean, come on. 41 downhill? Yeah, <laughs> pretty good. Put it on a trailer. <laughs> they built these things to last forever and go anywhere. Yeah, they're badass. So it should make it 1,200 miles. Yeah. You know the thing is with these things, some breaks, you know, it's really tough to find parts. And another thing, you know, running this thing up Pearl Pass and stuff, you're, you're up there, you're stuck, you know, and then if you can't get parts to fix it on site, how are you going to get it down, you know? Well, I think we need gas in her first. We're going to get gas, make it to a hotel, and then figure out a plan for tomorrow. How you doing? Well, I gotta survive this thing all the way back to Kansas, so we're gonna see how that goes. Good luck. <laughs> Everybody keeps telling me that. I now see why it took four years to win World War II. That's as fast as their Jeeps would go. There's a lot of cars back there. A lot of cars. Wonder what they're doing. I really wish we had an outside view of just how slow this thing is going right now. Well, hey, here's the good news. It made it as far as we needed it to today. It made it about six miles to the hotel. We think it's really solid. It drives well, it runs all right, it just don't have a lot of power. The problem I have with it is the top speed. The top speed is gonna suck. Well guys, the Jeep made it to the hotel last night, obviously. Now, I think it's about time we see if she'll make it the rest of the journey. She has no roof, no doors, and no hope of making it, but we're still gonna send it. Before we leave, there's a couple things we gotta check. Make sure this thing's ready to rip. Oh, hello motor. Better give this thing a good old once over before we go. Right in the middle of the grid. Ooh. <laughs> you well, see that man. copper in there? Yeah, it's got a it's stop leak in it. Good signs. Either the head gasket or the radio, the radiator started leaking, one or the other. So guys, here's the thing. Before we get too serious with taking this thing halfway across the country, we got a, cool place, a couple cool places we wanna stop and also, there's a little dirt road I know around here that's a pretty cool trail. So I figured, let's take it on a little test. See exactly what she's made of before we actually hit the road. Hey Sue, if you see that mountain? Yeah. That's where we're going. I'm feeling an adventurous mood, so. Oh dude, that is beautiful. Apparently this place is the wildflower capital of the world. Guys, look at this place. It's like shit you would see in a movie. Well, I guess you guys are seeing it in a movie. So it's like shit you would see in a movie. Make sure we edit out all the Subaru Outback footage. That way it seems like we're going up an awesome trail. How you doing? Nice Subaru. Yo, honestly, I thought this thing would be way bumpier. I mean, it's a little bumpy, but it's not bad. Whee! So, where are we going? We're going across the river. Okay. Oh, s***, it got deep! <laughs> that got scary for a second. God, this is getting steep. Come on, baby, come on. There you go. Let's just not roll over. Dude, are you amazed by how well this thing is doing? And I haven't even had to go to low gear yet. God dang, we're really climbing. I wonder how She didn't overeat one time. The problem is, it's still slow as balls. So, I guess now that we figured out it'll go off-roading, I guess we should figure out how far it'll go on-roading. We'll try to drive it 1,200 miles back to Kansas, where I live. You think this thing will make the trip all the way home? Yeah, your karma's right. You got it, buddy. That's, I what, I, that's what I need to hear. I bet it will. Hey, I you have a good one. Young. Well, they seem confident in us. That's all we need, really. The people that don't understand at all what is going to happen, them guys say we're good. I believe them guys. <laughs>
Except what I didn't tell them is that although we are on our way back to Kansas, I wanted to make a tiny little detour. A detour to... Moab is four hours and 27 minutes away in a regular car. So, regular car goes like 60, I imagine. We can go like 30. We'll be there in 10 hours. Hey, hey. So before we get any further, if you don't know what Moab is, let me explain. Moab is the Holy Grail, the off-roading paradise of the Western US. There's trails, cliffs, rock crawling, camping, and I think it'll be a great way to break in or just break our new Jeep. Here we go. 230 miles to our first stop. Let's see how she goes. I got a lot of faith. I just don't have a lot of faith we're gonna make it there quickly. like 15 miles an hour the whole time. I feel like some of these hills, we might have to put the transfer case in low. How you doing? Well, I have a very flat tire and somebody just stopped, but I don't, I can't find my lug nut. Do we have a, do we have a 21 mil in the, you grab a 21 mil in an impact? You got a spare? Oh, what am I asking? It's on the back of your Jeep. Yeah, hold on. Do you have time to do this? Yeah, yeah, we're good. What are you doing? We make YouTube videos. Do you? Yeah, yeah. So we bought this Jeep over here in next town over, and we're going to try to drive it all the way back to Kansas. Where? Winfield. Oh, I'm from Salina. Oh, my God. We're running into all the Kansas people today. Western. Oh, that's my grandson's name. Oh, my God. How old's your grandson? He just got engaged. Well, tell, me, tell him you met another Weston. I will. That's unusual. There you go. You are good to go. There you go. Make sure you keep that, though. Yeah, yeah, we just had to change the tire. Um, yay for Kansans. I think we can convince her to trade Jeeps. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Yes. No, you don't. Buy yourself some No, hammer. no, you're not. You're not giving me any money. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Come no, on, guys. No, but it's oh, fine. Please. It's fine. Okay. It was just meant to be. This will buy you lunch in Salina, Kansas. No, it's fine. You keep please. it. Please. No, you keep it. It's fine. I'm glad I was able to help. Well, it's Weston. Yay. <laughs> well, how do you open this thing? <laughs> no. It's fine. I, I, I would promise. really like for you to. No, no, no. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There she go. is persistent. She's going to get ready to whoop us if we don't take Thank that money. You. Thank you. No problem. Hey, you, you have a safe trip. Thanks. Bye. All right. Let's rock and roll. Hopefully the only Jeep we have to fix today is hers. Oh, my God. We got a downhill section. You know what this means? 33 miles an hour. Maybe we won't take it too fast. I trust the 70-year-old brakes is about as far as I trust the 70-year-old engine. Not very far. Hey, if we only have to drive downhill back to Kansas, we'll get there quick. I believe this is where Bigfoot lives. Hold on, let me go ahead and do a Bigfoot mating call and see if he comes out. Oh yeah! That's a Bigfoot mating call. That normally reels him in. Oh yeah! Must not be no Bigfoots here. Oh, dude. This is absolutely stunning. You know, I was gonna buy a Jeep in Texas. I'm glad I picked to buy the one here. Are you sure this is the right way? Because it's the gravel road. I don't have cell service. You guys don't have cell service. He doesn't have cell service. So I have no idea, but I do know that I'm going west. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure this is the right way. Here's the thing, we don't know if we know where we're going, but this road's gotta lead somewhere. And whenever we get somewhere, we'll figure out where we're at. How many miles have we made? That's been 100, right? Uh, that's been like 37. 37. No, no way. Oh my God, you got drinks? Yep. Where are they? Are they? What's the, what's the closest town from here? Oh, okay, I'm about 60 miles. 16 or 60? 16. Oh, sorry, I've, I've had a rough day. There's Crystal Butte, so that's where we started. That's where we are now. I feel like I've already died three times, so that's, that's not a very big gap on the map. It might be because it's so hot, but oh my God. Yeah, it's a 200. The thing is, it's like, we're going downhill and it's still like barely able to keep speed going downhill. Yeah, this thing's overheating a little bit. And also it's losing a lot of power. It's way down on power. Well. 
This is our first official, not really a breakdown, kind of pullover, going downhill out of the mountains towards Utah. And while going downhill, it's overheating. We're gonna let it sit here and idle for a little bit, see if it cools down. It's not cooling down. You wanna pull the hood up real quick, make sure the fan belt's still on it? like about to fall off of it. Oh, sh Yeah, that's why it's overheating. The belt's falling off. Good news is, nothing major. Just the, the generator's getting ready to fall off and the belt's barely spinning the water pump. Maybe we just let it sit here for a minute and cool down and then we'll come back and work on it. We'll or maybe we grab the rope and tow it to the next town. We're not sitting alongside the road where we're gonna get hit. All right, we'll pull it to town, we'll fix that, and we'll get food. Come on, baby, don't let your pal beat you. You're stronger than that. You want wars. I don't really know what to do with it because I feel like if I keep going like this, I'm going to blow the motor up.